In this video, we're going to look at linking tasks between sub-projects within the master project. At present, we're in the master project called Service Control. We've got a car one, which is last in 27 days, and that's going from January to the end of February, so 27 days. Car two is the same, starting at the same time. And we've got a car three as well. So all these three cars have to be serviced. So we're now going to link car one and car two together using the mechanical task. So the yellow mechanical task in car one and the green mechanical task in car two. So to link these tasks, I'm going to select the mechanical task in car one. Hold my control key down and select the mechanical task in car two. I'm now going to click onto the task tab and use the link, the selected tasks option to link these tasks together. So here we go, we can now see that the yellow task mechanical one, the task bar is now taskbar here is now linking to the taskbar in car 2 for the mechanical task within car 2. So these are now linked with a finish start link. The duration has now gone to 32 days. We're now going to see what happens if we were to change the link. So I'm going to double click the mechanical task within car 2. Before we do that, we're going to check the link and how it looks uh, as an external task link. So if I pull the dividing line across for the chart area of Gantt chart and then extend the predecessor's column a little bit more, I can now see that the mechanical task within car 2 is linked to car 1 and it's task 7 and that's as a finish to start link. We're now going to change this link to a start to start. So I'm going to narrow the predecessor's column in this case and I'm going to put the chart area back into its original position and I'm now going to double click the mechanical task within car 2 predecessor section and where we know the link has taken place to the external task, I'm now going to change finish the start to start to start. So finish the start, back to start to start, click OK. The link now changes back to a start to start link between the yellow mechanical task in car 1 and the green mechanical task in car 2. How's this affect the duration? We're now back to 27 days, which was the original before we linked these tasks together. We're now going to save the master project as it now is. So the service control project. And I'm going to say yes to all. And we're now going to affect the sub projects. We're going to look at how this, how these links affect the sub projects themselves. So I'm going to look at car one. And I can now see that car one has what's called an external task within it. It's this grayed out task, which is task eight. It's got a gray bar that defines an external task. So I know that that's linked to another project. And that's what tells me that. So I can double click this task to see the link to car two. So I'm going to double click the grayed out task. And now I'm in car two. And that has a grayed out task as well, back to car one. So this is how an external task looks in these sub projects. I'm going to keep car two open and I'm going to close car one. So car one I'm going to now. And I'm going to close this particular car project down. Okay, so I'll go to my car two. So we can see the, the grey task now, which is linked to the car one. I'm now going to make a link change within the, the sub project, which is car two, which is going to affect then the car one itself. So I'm going to go to the mechanical task, 
I'm going to double click it and I'm going to go to the predecessors area. Now I can see the mechanical task has a start to start link with the task within car one, the mechanical task within car one. So I'm going to change it this time to a finish to start. And this is now within the sub project car two. So I'm now making the link change this time in the actual sub project instead of the master project. Now I'm going to see what happens with this. Click OK. So it shows me there's a change now to 32 days in the car two sub project. I'm going to save this and then I'm going to open up the master project to see what's happened. So I'm going to close. Yes, I'm going to save it. And now I'm going to open up the actual master project, service control. And we can now see straight away within service control that the link has been accepted. And if we look at the two bars, can now see that the yellow mechanical task within car one now has a finish to start link with the mechanical task within car two and the duration has increased as expected to 32 days for the extra five days because one finishes after another one. But this completes linking tasks between sub projects within a master project, as well as then seeing how, when the master project is closed down, when the sub projects are changed themselves and the link is changed, how it then affects the actual master project itself. So this gives you an idea of how links work in Microsoft project between master and sub projects within a master project. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you for the next tutorial and thanks for watching.